Hi, welcome back to Java tutorial. In Java, we have two methods to create multiple threads, either by extending the thread class or by implementing the runnable interface. In this video, I will discuss how to create multiple threads in Java by extending the thread class. The other video, that is, uh, how can we create the multiple threads uh, using the runnable interface uh, uh, is already discussed. The link for the video is given in the description below. Now I have already created the main class. Uh, I have named it as multiple threads using threads uh, class here. Now, now uh, I will try to create two threads and then I will try to execute uh, those two threads uh, parallelly in this case. So first I will create uh, the first uh, thread. I will name it as uh, thread1. Here I need to extend the uh, thread class here. So I will write uh, extends uh, that is uh, threads and uh, the body of this particular class uh, goes here. Uh, in this particular uh, class I have to implement one method that is uh, the run method. So I will write public wide run and then uh, I will write a very simple statement within this particular run. This run is nothing but it is the body of this particular thread uh, one in this case. So here I will add system dot out dot print ln within this I will just uh, give a simple message that is uh, you can say that thread one here that's it I don't give any other thing uh, whenever this particular thread is executed I will get a message like uh, it is thread one or it is executed uh, from thread one in this case now uh, what I do is I will create uh, one more thread here that is uh, class thread two here and then extends that is uh, thread again now I will do one thing uh, again I will uh, implement the run method within this that is uh, public wide you can say that uh, run again within this particular run again I will try to uh, display the same message uh, but in this case I will give the message as thread to here okay now uh, this much is enough because I have created two threads now I need to uh, call these two uh, threads here that is thread1 and thread2 so I will go to this particular uh, main uh, class and then I will add main method here that is uh, public static wide main within this particular thing I will add a string args and then square brackets and then I will start the main method here I have to create an object of thread1 and thread2 and then I have to uh, start executing thread1 and thread2 so I will do one thing that is uh, thread1 I will name it as t1 which is equivalent to new thread1 so it will create an object of thread1 here similarly I will create an object of uh, thread2 here that is uh, thread2 t2 is equivalent to uh, new thread2 here now uh, what I do is I will call t1.start so whenever I call t1.start that is object not start it will go to that particular uh, threads run method and then the run method will be executed similarly what I do is uh, t2.start I will write and then uh, uh, I will close this particular statement so this is how actually you can create multiple threads I have created thread1 and thread2 here and then I have called those two things now I will try to compile and see what is the output I will get here. Uh, we should get thread1 and thread2 because thread1 is called first and then thread2 we have called. So definitely we should get thread1 and thread2. But actually what happens is uh, because it is a thread uh, they will be executed you can say that uh, uh, the parallelly. So there is a possibility that uh, whenever I execute second time I may get uh, thread 2 first and thread 1 that may be possible it is not like uh, because I have executed the t1 dot start it will always ex execute the run method of uh, t1 and then t2 it is not like that because it is a thread the, the, the output may be jumbled because they will execute parallelly here so if you want to see that particular thing what we do here is uh, rather than displaying this message one time we will try to display it multiple number of time let us say that uh, int i is equal to 0 uh, you can say that uh, 
uh, i is uh, less than uh, 10 and then i plus plus here what i do is uh, within this particular thing i will try to add this particular statement that is uh, uh, thread one here that is uh, the message thread one you can say similarly i will copy the same message here and then i will add it here i will change it to thread two now uh, if you see here uh, this particular the run method will display thread one uh, 10 times and uh, thread two 10 times according to our understanding uh, what should happen is uh, t1 dot stat has been called first so thread one should be displayed 10 times and then uh, t2 dot uh, stat has been called here so we should get uh, thread to 10 times later but if you see the output you will understand how actually the things will work here uh, i think we are getting the same thing what we are getting uh, discussed but if you execute it you, may, you can see here uh, thread one was executed after that uh, thread two was executed again uh, thread one was executed and so on similarly if i execute it multiple number of times i may get a different different output here you can see here it has started with the thread two directly in this case if i execute it one more time uh, you may get thread one over here first and then thread two later if you just go on executing this particular program you will get different outputs i think you can see here in between we got thread two and so on so this shows that we have created uh, two threads here and both the threads are uh, executed parallelly in this case uh, I hope you understood how can we create uh, multiple number of uh, threads um, by extending uh, the thread class. In this case, I have shown uh, how can we create two threads uh, and how can we uh, execute those two particular uh, threads in this case. Uh, for that reason, you need to create an object of that particular thread and then you need to call the start method. Start method will in turn call this particular run methods. Both of them are executed parallelly. So because of that, you will get the jumbled output over here. I hope you understood how this particular uh, uh, program will work uh, in this case. Uh, this is a very simple program to demonstrate uh, the multi-threading in this case by extending a thread class. As I said earlier, in other video, I have discussed uh, how can we create multiple threads using uh, the runnable interface. The link for that video is given in the description below. You just check that particular link to understand how to create multiple threads using a uh, runnable interface. If you have any other questions, you can put those questions in the comment box below. I will definitely answer those questions uh, at the earliest. If you like the video, do like and uh, share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.